whoa this is me Ugh, in the mornings sometimes i have to put clear eyes in my eyes because my eyes go so red ah good morning where does that zoom in weird um so i'm freaking sore today like really sore i think i'm gonna have to buy some like sups or something for muscle recovery because i'm not taking them like even like magnesium i've got the tablets but i just haven't taken them so i'm gonna have to get like a supplement like is it bccas or something i might buy some of that i'm going to f45 this morning then I'm going to come home and make some pancakes. But I'm going to make them differently because Miss Keto inspired me on her Instagram stories yesterday. She baked them in her air fryer like in a um, like a rounded silicon mold. And I'm going to do that. But I don't have a rounded silicon mold. I just have a normal one. So I'm going to make like an egg loaf type of thing and see how that goes with the mixture. Um, I'm going to get a full body scan at F45 this morning. So that like measures everything. I'm just so I know like all of my measurements and like it just tells you absolutely everything. So I'll share that with you guys as well. Um, I'm going to go have my fat burner now because I don't leave for another like hour and a bit. So it gives me time to pee before I have my, um, in body scan. Lol. So I weigh less. <laughs> I'm gonna go make it now, even though it's yeah, a bit early. I just wanna get it over and done with. I spot an Uber Eats bag. Naughty boys. <laughs> oh, I put my beef mince out last night, so I'm gonna put that in the fridge because I'm gonna make my patties. Alright, I'm going to go over some emails. So I will talk to you guys when I go to F45 to get my scan. So I'm just going to take my magnesium tablets. I think it says to take two. I'll take one tablet. Three times daily. I'm going to take them today. Because yeah, my body is hurting. I hate swallowing tablets. I feel like I've been so organized this week. Like usually, um, like I go pack my wedding kit like the day before and I'm like stressed out, but I'm all sweet. I'm all, it's all ready to go. All I have to do is just take it out of my car and drive to the venue. All right, this is how I do my hair for F45, but first, I'm just gonna take this off. I just do it in a side plait. I got asked a few questions about sports bras that I wear to F45. So to the weights classes, um, I find that I don't really need as much support as the cardio ones, so I would never wear the Sasky ones to cardio just because my tits are literally fall out. Like they're supportive as a crop just to wear, but like doing cardio, no. Good cardio crops are Cleo. Oh, I'll go get them. Okay, so good cardio crops I've found for my big boobs. I like the Cleo Harper like top. Just because it's like, it goes like pretty much all the way up to your like neck here. So it like keeps them in and then it looks like that. But that's Cleo Harper Active Wear. I'm going to probably wear that one. Or the Toned by Ashy Bynes. This one is, let's see which one this one is. Okay, it doesn't really say, but it's just basically the one that has the straps at the back like this. 
It's hard to explain. But the, um, I think it's called We Support You or something like that. But these, this style is really good. It's cross at the back. They're good for cardio. They keep my boobies in. I'm a size medium in the Cleo Harper and then medium in the toned. Yeah, medium in the toned. Um, I do like another black one from Ashy Bynes. We heart, we support you. I don't know, something like that. But yeah, I found that those two are the ones that I would wear to a cardio class because it's just my boobs just stay in. Um, but for weights and stuff like that, I wear the Sasky ones. Um, or I just wear other random ones that look cute. Um, legging wise, I love the Sasky ones. I'm a size medium in them. Um, I love the Cleo Harper activewear um, leggings too. I also love the old Ashy Bynes material. I'm not really a fan of her new... It's like, kind of like Lycra. I don't really like that. It's not very... I don't know. Sometimes they ride down. But her old material, I've got khaki and navy blue. I'm obsessed. Yeah, that's pretty much all the brands that I wear. I do have a pair of Rockwear. Um, long leggings. They're good. Size 10 in those. Um, but other than that, they're like pretty much the only things that I wear like on rotation to F45. Yeah, I'm excited for this scan. I haven't had one since my last eight week challenge. So it would be really cool to see the difference in all my measurements because I'm pretty sure they have my results on, on file. They should. All right, I'm going to go and I will chat to you guys later. Okay, I've got the Cleo Harper bra on and I forgot to mention the, um, these, these are from Fashion Nova. The material on them is just great. Like they don't ride down. They're really flattering as well and they're high waisted. So these are from Fashion Nova and they were really cheap. But this is what the top looks like on. See what I mean about like that sort of like extra, I don't know, like they keep my boobs in. So I'm going to wear this and probably my F45 singlet. So I haven't tested out my blood ketones in a while, so I'm going to test them out again. So you put this in first. Get this. By the way, for those that were freaking out last time I did this, these are my blood ketones, not my blood glucose levels. That's why they're so low. Ooh, 1.5. That's really good. Okay, I'm going to go and get ready and head to F45 and do my scan. Just get Isaac. Uh, we'll probably go to the same. I would like to see that. Yep. Is that done? Uh, what does that mean? What I'm on? Uh, basically, the bulk rate, so that's how many calories you burn every day just to be alive. So if you just lead a video day, that's how many calories you burn. Sure can. It's that same count. What's up? When that 45 makes you run. <laughs> Go Ritza. <laughs> that was not cool. No, I actually really enjoyed that one. Docklands, it was called. Cool. I also did my body scan. Oh my god, and I managed to find my very first body scan when I first started losing weight. My starting weight on the first scan, I'll put it here for you guys so you can read it, um, was 86 kilos. But I was 90 before I, like that wasn't when I first started. So I'd lost like four or so kilos before that scan. But my starting weight was 86. Oh. Yeah, I'll leave the body scan here. Guys, wow, like look at the fat, um, total body fat percentage. And I'm gonna insert, when I take a picture of it when I get home, I'm gonna insert my one from today it is insane i just picked up some stuff for my giveaway i went into brio emporium and i got the bone broth these are really popular um for keto so i got the am cleanse which is lemon ginger and turmeric and then the lemon and herb one so you can use these in cooking you can just mix it with hot water bone broth is really really like good for your gut 
for repair and cleanse, benefits of bone broth with traditional alkalizing and immune boosting superfoods. So I thought that would be a great little um, thing for my giveaway for you guys because I don't know, it just seems to be a very, very popular product that a lot of people use for keto. Back from the gym, I'm gonna make a pancake mixture egg loaf type of thing. So I'm gonna actually bake the mixture in the oven. So I've got this silicon mold that I'll pour the mixture in. Same recipe as I've used previously for the pancakes, three eggs and 50 grams of um, cream cheese. So I'm gonna do that. Measure my cream cheese. So only 50 grams of this. That's the cream cheese I use as well as Philadelphia. That's 40. Popping that in there. Popping a bit of cinnamon in. And then I'm gonna blend it up. All right, so there's the mixture. I'm just gonna line this with some baking paper. I might just put in the littlest bit of baking powder. Okay, I'm just gonna mix that back up. While the oven's preheating, I'm gonna go have a shower and then I'll pop this in the oven for probably like 10 minutes, just however long it takes to rise, I guess. So I'm gonna go for a shower now. All right, so I'm gonna pour my mixture into here. Put in the oven for like 10 minutes. So we shall see how that goes. So it's been 10 minutes. I might take it out and have a look. Oh no, it's still like, yeah, I need to put it in for longer. So this has been in the oven for 20 minutes in total. So I checked it halfway and it was still gooey, but I just put a fork in it and it was nice and firm. So 20 minutes all up on 180 degrees. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit got my plate here and I'm just gonna chop it up and serve it on the plate I'm excited so I just chopped up the mixture oh my god it looks amazing here's my butter I'm gonna pour that on top holy shit this looks like a master chef meal so I'm master chef now guys all right putting on my maple syrup dead guys absolutely dead oh that looks so incredible so here's the final product <laughs> final product and then i just made my little mocha oh my god i'm so excited to dig in tastes exactly the same but obviously like thicker and maybe a tad drier in the middle, but it's still like the exact same flavor. Cool for something different. Yum. Literally watching Miss Keto. Um, that was freaking incredible for a change. I'm just trying to figure out ways how I can still have the same recipe for each meal, but just cook it differently, just for something different. Um, but that was incredible. Um, I'm gonna go and start editing this vlog, finish my coffee, and I'll go to the post office after I'm ready. And I'll chat to you guys later. So before I forget, I'm gonna talk about my in-body scan that I did today. I will actually just put this on the side. I'm gonna add it here so you guys can um, look at it with me. But holy shit, 
Um, I probably shouldn't have had my fat burner before because it said I weighed 66.3 when yesterday I weighed 65.5. So it's probably because of the drink. Um, so yeah, 66.3 down from my last body scan, which was 80.9. My very first scan, 86.6 kilos. That is crazy. So comparing, let's go skeletal muscle mass. Mine was 26.7. It's gone down a bit, 26.1 because of the weight loss, obviously. My body fat mass was 32.7, it's down to 19.3. My BMI was 29.9, it is now 24.7. So I'm in the normal range now. I've always been in the overweight range my whole life, so I'm proud of that. Unfortunately, this um, scan doesn't tell me my like circumference of like my neck, my arms, whereas the other one did. Um, and like my legs and thighs and hips and abdomen region. This one didn't, which I'm kind of bummed about because that's kind of what I wanted to like measure today. But I think I'm just going to use um, a measuring tape and measure all that manually. But yeah, I just thought I would share that with you guys because that is crazy. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend getting like a proper body scan. Um, some gyms do it. You can just look online like where your local gym has one of these rapid body scans. Um, but yeah, thought I would just share that. I'm gonna go get ready, go check my PO box. Hopefully I have my low carb emporium order so I can make, by the way, I'm making my cheat meal tonight. It's not a cheat meal because it doesn't contain carbs, but I'm gonna make um, egg fried noodles from Miss Keto. By the way, Miss Kiddo is like my favorite page to follow, so you should follow her. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to make egg fried noodles with those Slendia noodles that I got yesterday. Eggs and then whip in like bacon and spinach. Oh, I'm so, so keen because those noodles are amazing. Um, okay, I'm going to get ready now and head to the P.O. box. Oh, I've got quite a bit in here. Just got a few parcels today. <gasps> oh god, they had to give me a box for it. Um, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna open it here. Okay, I know what a few are. This one is from Princess Polly. Love Princess Polly clothes, honestly, my fave. This one's from Fashion Nova. I've got a clothing like addiction. I ordered some stuff off eBay. So, because I was gonna get the new iPhone, but I think I'm just gonna wait until the camera is up to date with Instagram because that's the only thing that's putting me off buying the new phone. Like, I just don't think the camera is as clear. So I bought like a clear case for like the iPhone X Max. And then for traveling, for my translucent powder, I wanted to like get a small, uh, to be honest, I thought this was gonna be smaller. Um, like a smaller container for my translucent powder. So I got this one off eBay. It's actually pretty big. I thought it was gonna be half the size. But it's definitely smaller than my Laura Mercier. So I'm just going to deposit some of that um, in here for traveling. So, yes. All right, next. Oh, more Joseph Brackage stuff. I'm going to do like little giveaways um, because you guys that have joined the program as well have inspired me. And I just literally can't believe how many people have joined up to the same program so I'm gonna like randomly give away um, his ripped fat burner because I know these are so hard to get your hands on so I managed to yeah get like an extra four or so so randomly I'm just gonna like pick people that send me in all of their like results and stuff and I'm just gonna like randomly give these away to you guys so that's why I bought like heaps of them for so if you want to get on board, join the meal plan that I'm on, send me your progress pics, and I could randomly send you one of those fat burners. Next one is from, what's this one from? Oh my god, Rimmel. I love Rimmel. Rimmel London is probably one of my favorite um, drugstore slash like cheapo makeup brands because there is so many products from Rimmel that I use day to day and on my clients as well. Like I have some holy grails for Rimmel. Um, ooh, 
so remember when I did that video with the um, metallic tattoos? They've just come out with some Halloween inspired ones. Mm -hmm. I haven't actually gone shopping for anything Halloween yet. Um, and just like a bunch of products. So their lasting breathable foundation, which I really like. Um, and some really cool like lip art colors for Halloween. Oh, something might be coming up soon. And then in here, just a bunch of Rimmel palettes that I can use. Oh, thanks guys. Another palette, lip products. Um, everything, oh my holy grail. This is literally my favorite translucent powder for setting the eyelids. Some setting spray. It's just filled with like heaps of Rimmel Beauty. So thank you guys so much. Definitely be filming some Halloween looks with those um, stickers. I mean, those metallic tattoos. Okay, this one is like really long. Like, what the fuck is this? Um, okay. There's this guy outside my car. Is he okay or? Weirdo. I feel like I'm gonna break a nail. Help. What the hell was that sound? I think I'm gonna have to open this inside with like a knife or something because it's like, yeah, I can't open this. Um, so about a week ago, I actually filmed myself going grocery shopping for the meal plan slash keto. I didn't end up uploading it because I don't really feel like it deserved a whole dedicated video because it was quite short because I like literally just like took the camera around with me and Aldi and Coles, I think. So I might actually insert my grocery shopping at one point of this video. So if randomly I'm like look different and I'm like wearing makeup, I think I was wearing makeup that day. Um, yeah, I'm gonna add that section of me um, going grocery shopping because I got a comment from someone and she's like, oh, I'd love to see what you buy, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna add that in for you guys. So this is what was in that massive um, parcel. It's the Fit Me Matte and Paulus in all colors. Oh, shoot. Some of it's leaked but i'm guessing it's just yeah all the shades oh no i think some are broken of the fit me foundation so thank you so much maybelline awesome i actually really like this foundation so i'm just preparing my patties for the next couple of meals so i did show you guys how i make my patties in my previous vlog so i don't add anything to them i just add some baguette and onion powder and yeah, make them into 100 gram patties and cook them up. Okay, so I just finished the patties. <laughs> Burnt them a little bit, but they're for the next couple days. I'm gonna make my lunch now, which is 125 grams of steak and 125 grams of veggies. I'm just using the same pan. I'm gonna weigh my veggies and yeah. So there is my yummy lunch, steak with veggies and garlic butter. Yum. So I'm also gonna try the solo no sugar. I've been so intrigued. Let's take a quick snap of this. Let's try this first. It just tastes exactly like normal solo. My life has been changed. I'm obsessed.
hi guys i literally still haven't done anything to my hair um i've decided to go on a last minute spotlight um shop for my halloween tutorials coming up soon i just need to get a few things for a few ideas that i have in mind for some videos so i thought i'd take you guys along i'm not gonna spoil what i have in mind because i'd want it to be a surprise but yeah i think what i'm gonna do is something really cool and most importantly really easy to recreate because it's like nothing worse than wanting to do something for halloween and then trying to follow a tutorial and it's just so complex and hard so hopefully this gives you guys some inspo for halloween i'm gonna stop filming now because it's distracting guess what i just bought guys um so i did go to like the cheap shop to get some stuff for my halloween looks for this year i'm not going to show you because it might give it away so i'll leave that for the videos but i just went to kmart and bought a air fryer <laughs> i've seen so many people um use these for cooking so i just thought i would jump on the bandwagon 69 dollars from kmart Hey guys, so I'm just about to make dinner. It's five o'clock, but I think I'm just gonna have an early dinner because I'm hungry and I feel like it and I'm bored. So I'm gonna make some egg fried noodles. So this is what I'll be using. So I'll be using some black chia seeds, hemp hearts, eggs, nutritional yeast, some spices and herbs. That's spaghetti. Um, garlic powder, psyllium husk, and then I'm going to use these noodles, bacon, and spinach, and chia seeds. I can't remember if I said that or not. So I'm going to set you guys up and show you exactly how I make it. This is my air fryer. won't use it today. I'll probably use it next week or something. So I'm not really going to be measuring, like, stuff in this meal because I can't be bothered. So I just added some olive oil. I'm going to slice up some bacon. So I'm gonna slice up maybe like one, two, three bits of bacon and start cooking them first. So I'm gonna add my bacon to the pan. I'm just gonna add some garlic as well. in my spinach so I've just put the pan on a low heat or well lower heat so I'm going to add some um, cream cheese in it I only have a little bit left so I'm just going to add whatever's left in there so we'll just wait for that to just melt down Like That's what the noodles look like. They taste so gross on their own. Gonna crack two eggs. Another egg in. Okay, now I'm gonna add all these ingredients. So I'm gonna add some nutritional yeast. I'm not um like yeah measuring anything I'm gonna add some hemp hearts some chia seeds about a tablespoon of both of them actually add some psyllium husk just a little bit some garlic powder then I'm gonna add some turmeric. Gonna add some baguette. Literally mix all of that up. And this pan is so thick, even though it says it's non-stick. 
right. Taste test. Mm. I feel like these noodles would be amazing with some tamari, so I'm gonna put some in. The noodles so much flavour. Look at how amazing these noodles look. That looks like a lot. So if I can't finish it, I'll definitely have some for tomorrow for lunch. It fucking looks amazing. I'm just going to cut up the noodle. That is a very interesting flavor. It's definitely not what I envisioned it to taste like. It tastes very Asian with the tamari, but I don't mind it. I don't know. It's like a weird sort of flavor to it. Maybe it's the turmeric. So I don't usually cook with turmeric. No, I think I like it for a change. I think I might save the rest for tomorrow because I'm oh, I'm so full. I put a bit of QP mayo on it as well just for an extra bit of flavor. I don't think I'm going to cook with turmeric again. I've only cooked with turmeric once and that was with cauliflower and I hated it. But I was following Miss Keto's recipe. Plus, I didn't put in half the stuff that she did because I didn't have it. Like she put in like a, I think it was like a, like, a powdered bone broth um she used like the garlic hemp hearts i only have the normal ones um she put like paprika in hers it tastes good but if you're craving like egg fried noodles like this will hit the spot but if i didn't put that tamari sauce on i wouldn't have liked it but that tamari sauce is like soy sauce i love it um so yeah, and it's like the low carb sort of like option for keto. So, so yeah, next time I make these, I'm going to make sure I have the right herbs <laughs> and yeah, probably not put turmeric in it. Um, I might add in my little shopping vlog that I filmed last week for you guys that I mentioned before. So I'll add this in after um, and then that's pretty much all I have to do. <laughs> that's all I'm eating. I probably will have like an icy pole or something later. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching all of my daily vlogs. This is going to be the last one this week because tomorrow and Sunday I have a wedding. So I'll be doing like separate vlogs for that. But I'll make sure I do at least one vlog like this for next week. Um, I might actually just film like every day, like a little bit every day and then make it into one massive weekly vlog. So if you guys would be interested in that, let me know. But anyways, enjoy my little grocery haul. I'm off to go and edit this video and um, clean the house because it's a little bit dirty. And I will see you in my next videos. Bye guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'll leave it here. So for today's video, I'm loving that you guys are loving all of my like fitness related stuff. Um, so I'm actually off to the shops to do a grocery shop. Um, and I thought I would take you guys along and show you guys exactly what I buy for the week, how much I spend. Um, I try to keep it under a hundred dollars a week and that seems to go pretty well for me. Like my last shop, I think I lasted like a week and a half. I've recently been shopping at Aldi actually. So Aldi and Coles, well, I like all three Coles, Woolworths and Aldi, but um, Aldi and Coles are the closest to my house. So 
Um, usually I just go to Coles if I need to get a few things, but when I do my massive shops, I go to Aldi because, oh my God, their stuff is so much cheaper. And I find that sometimes they have a little bit more variety of stuff, um, especially for keto. So, um, I'm going to take you guys along with me. I'm not sure how much I'm going to vlog. I'm just going to have to like suck it up if there's people around because otherwise this video will be shit if I don't show you everything that I get. So... I'm going to take you guys along and, yeah, show you guys exactly what I buy for my meal plan. Um, for those that watched my last video, I'm doing the Joseph Rackage meal plan. The keto shred one. Um, I'll leave all information down below if you want to check it out. But later, I will address some issues that a few people commented on my last video about what I eat in a day. There was just some, like, nasty and uncalled for comments that... People made that are obviously uneducated about the keto diet. So before you make assumptions, opinions, just please make your research before you go and bash people for their lifestyle change. It's my choice. I've researched. At the end of the day, it's my choice, my opinion. I'm the one that's sharing it with you. If you don't agree with what I'm talking about and what I'm doing, you don't have to watch this video. Simply unsubscribe or just don't watch these videos. So... Yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention that. So I'm going to go inside, got my bags. Um, so yeah, see you inside. The one thing I hate about Aldi is doing this. So I got probably three quarters of my shopping done for what was it? $53. So I like to get like most of my meat and fresh produce from Aldi. I just find they're like a lot fresher, especially like the tomatoes and lettuce. I sometimes find that in Coles. I don't know. It's like hit and miss sometimes, but frozen veggies are not too good with. Like they only have like broccoli and they have mixed veggies whereas Coles has like a mixed pack of broccoli and cauliflower so they have a bit more variety there but eggs are cheaper at Aldi by like a dollar or something um what else meats cheaper I find that I've struggled to find like single scotch fillet steaks sometimes um at Coles or they've run out or they only come in like four packs but I like to have my steak pretty fresh like I don't like to keep it in the fridge for too long or freeze it I just like to like buy as I'm about to eat it. So Aldi always has like individual ones and I think their meat is slightly cheaper. Like that massive, that, that was a massive steak and I think it was like 12 or $13, but I'll obviously cut that in half and that's two meals. So um, when I get home, I'll lay everything out and tell you guys exactly like what I'm gonna make with the meals and basically like why I um, bought them. So, off to Coles. Luckily, it's only like two seconds away and so is my house. So I will see you guys at Coles.
is so good. These are really good too. If you like spicy stuff, this sauce is keto approved. I hate it, so I won't be taking that. I have this at home. I marinate my chicken in it sometimes or cook with it because the macros are pretty good. 0.3 per serving and 0.2 sugars. Everyone always goes on about this peanut butter. I still have some of my organic one, but I'll buy that one next. I used to be so obsessed with that. Like literally, I would go through one of these like in three days. Look at these freaking macros on it. 9.5 per serving, 14 serves. Crazy. I miss it though. All right, so I just finished the rest of my shop at Coles. I spent $21 or something, but that almond milk, which was $5, wasn't really part of my meal plan. I just wanted to have that in case I felt like something sweet and I'm obsessed with that almond milk. It's amazing. So $15, 50 plus 15, around $65. Yeah, I'm going to go check my PO box and then go home and unpack and show you guys um, everything that I got. All right, so I'm home now and I've laid out everything on the table. So this is about 65 70 dollars worth of food that should last me around six days so here i've got my cherry tomatoes to go into my salads i've got my beef mince which i make patties out of so when you see me making my patties i make it out of beef mince and just roll it up into patties i've got some chicken tenderloins on the meal plan it does say chicken thigh but i don't know the fat on there kind of like puts me off chicken so i just get tenderloins a scotch fillet steak, this is massive, so I'll cut that in half and that'll be two meals. Some more um, mints, which I will freeze one, I'll freeze those. I got some baby cos lettuce for my little meat and lettuce cups, they're so yummy. So then I got some capsicum, red onion for my salads. This is the um, low carb noodles that I used for my Kransky sausage carbonara. You can get the, um, I think it's Dr. Chang or something like that in Coles, but they didn't have them today. So I just got these ones. They're about $4. I got this seasoning, which I use for my steak as well as vegeta. If it's going to, it's actually not spicy. I don't know why it's called hot Cajun seasoning, but I like that. Um, this isn't really on my meal plan, but if I'm ever feeling like I need something sweet, it's so, so nice. It's like the best almond milk ever. Um, and then I got some cashews for my chicken stir fry. I got some decaf coffee from Aldi because when I seem to be hungry, I usually just have like a decaf black coffee and that keeps me full. So, and black coffees only have like a couple calories. Um, and then I've got my cauliflower and broccoli, which I will steam. And then I got my eggs but then when i went to coles i found these for 45 cents so what i might do is actually make an egg loaf it's similar ingredients to the cream cheese pancakes that i make um, and similar macros as well so you basically mix like eight or nine eggs some cream cheese i can't remember what else she puts in but i found a recipe on instagram that i'll make so i might make that and then have that instead of my cream cheese pancakes just to use up the eggs. But that is basically probably going to last me up until maybe Thursday or Friday. Maybe even Saturday. It depends. But I do still have some chicken and veggies in the freezer frozen from my meal prep last week that I have. I think I have two meals of that left. But honestly, let's just flip it around. Honestly, keto is not expensive. I always see people saying it's really expensive. When you're on a set plan and you know exactly what you're eating throughout the week, it's actually quite affordable. The meal plan that I'm on, most of the meals are quite simple, only really requires a few ingredients. So that's why it's a little bit cheaper. But I did notice when I wasn't doing the meal plan and I was doing just normal keto, it'd be like maybe 100, sometimes 110, depending on what I was going to cook. But yeah, one thing about keto is preparation. Um, so as long as you prepare your meals and you know exactly what you're cooking, it's just going to work out cheaper for you. So 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little grocery haul and it helped you guys out. If you want to see more videos of me making food, more keto recipes. So yeah, I'm so passionate about my lifestyle at the moment. So I would love to share it with you guys if it helps at least one of you out to motivate you to do the same thing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.